Welcome to our Tech Insights video. Today we're tackling a question that many Java developers encounter. How can we safely access deeply nested references without drowning in null checks? Unlike languages like Kotlin or C Sharp, where you can elegantly use the safe call operator, Java requires a bit more effort. Our viewer wonders if a specific helper method could provide a reasonable alternative to the traditional approach. Let's dive into this intriguing solution and see if it holds up under scrutiny. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. In Java, accessing deeply nested references can be tricky, especially when dealing with potential null values. Typically, we would need to perform null checks at each level. Alternatively, we can use the optional class and methods like or else to handle null values more gracefully. However, this can lead to verbose code. Now let's explore a helper method that could simplify this process. The method is called value or null, which takes a supplier and returns the value or null if a null pointer exception occurs. You can use this method like this, value equals value or null with a lambda expression that accesses the nested reference. While catching null pointer exceptions is generally discouraged due to performance concerns, in this case, it can be a reasonable exception to simplify code and improve readability. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create an alternative for the null coalescing operator, you can define a function called coalesce. This function takes a value and a transformation function to apply to that value. You can call this function with a value and a method reference, like coalesce value class get a. For deeper chains, you need to add more functions to handle each level. For each additional depth, you define another function. This can continue for as many levels as needed. The example shows how to handle up to three levels. In the example provided, various test cases demonstrate how the coalesce function works with nested classes A, B, and C. The output shows nulls for missing values and the actual string when present. The user notes that while this method works, it may not be possible to make the code significantly shorter. And that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time. Next time you need some technical help. And until then, have a good one.